Do you want to know the step-by-step -step process on how we wash our curtain at home after a very long time? Don't ask me how long because my shame is so ashamed right now. Anyway, I took down the curtains and I went to the bathtub, usually Kyra's bathtub because that's the only bath we have. And then I go in with this soft liquid wash and baking soda. This is like half cup of baking soda. After filling the bathtub with hot water, I had to go in with the curtains. You can see how messy these curtains are. Hmm. I let the cotton sit in the hot water overnight. By morning, I caught Hobby doing this. It brought back old memories and it worked. Look at how dirty these cottons were. So we rinsed with half cup of white vinegar. And by the time the water was running clean, we knew that the cotton was clean, no marks and all that. You need to make sure that the water runs clean. If not, your cotton, especially if it's white, might have some marks on it. So this is me and Hobby trying to hang it, taking advantage of the sun that we've belly belly in fact let's not even talk about this summer this summer is already messed up but we're gonna enjoy and take advantage of whatever is left of this summer to show you how sunny it was these curtains dried up within few hours i don't think it lasted up to four hours outside anyway it was time to hang back the curtains then i realized that the tracks were dirty so i had to clean them up so that they don't mess up the curtains and then here we are at this point i got really tired and i wasn't in the mood to steam so i decided to leave it to the next day hoping for a miracle but still my curtains needed to be steamed so here i'm steaming them and voila it turned out really really luxurious see always try to steam your curtains when you wash them there is so much difference in it i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button and share this video bye